watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation over here with trainer Henry Ramirez. You got a busy week, man. You, you got Chris Ariola fighting. You're in the main event, Josito Lopez versus Andre Berto. Let's start with um, Chris Ariola. He didn't show up today. Uh, why didn't he show up today? Uh, he actually didn't even know he was supposed to be here for this. You know, we were notified late as far as who had to be here and who exactly. So um, he got caught in some traffic. I just told him to turn around and go home. You know. Okay. Um, so he'll be here for the way in, he'll be here to fight, and to be honest, that's all I care about, you know what I mean? Do you know anything about his opponent? You know what? No, I don't. You know, the opponent was secured probably about two, two and a half weeks ago. I don't know anything about him, um, which to me makes him a little more dangerous because there is, there is no film on him. You know, I think he's got like 16, 17 fights. Great opportunity for him. Thanks Curtis Harper, and he's from Florida. Like I said, don't know too much about him. Um, I'm sure he's coming to fight. Okay, you guys took a tough defeat, of course, against Berman Stavern and Chris Ariola's last outing. How long did it take your charge, Chris Ariola, to get over that? And you know, actually, rather quickly. Um, Chris isn't really a guy who hangs his head and mopes around too much. You know, it's one of them things where, you know, uh, he went into the fight with his uh, with the elbow already kind of injured. We had to get we had a cortisone shot administered to him probably about 12 days prior to the fight. So. It happens, you know, he was he was doing well in the fight, got caught, and, uh, you know, hey, Severn won. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the one thing we tried to do moving forward was get the elbow repaired. This way it wouldn't be a hindrance moving forward. Had surgery, recovered a little bit slower than we had anticipated. Um, was scheduled to fight in December. That didn't happen because his elbow wasn't quite ready yet. So he was telling you before the fight that he... No, no, it's been for years. If oh, you ever okay. watch any of his tapes... Any of his tapes, you'll always see him messing with the, always see, and the arm, you know, little by little, just would go dead on him. But it got progressively worse, especially during the Stavern camp, because it really hindered sparring a little bit, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So, you know, um, but, you know, hey, it was a good fight. He was doing well, got caught, end of story, move when on. When is he going to take care of that? I mean, yeah. is it going to oh, be, uh, is this 100% now? No, it's not 100% now. It probably will never be 100%. Oh, okay. He actually, uh, we, we got... A scope job, which is basically like an arthroscopic of, of I, ju I just of, had that on of, my left knee elbow. like a week ago. <laughs> but the surgeon from the Curlin Job Clinic, what they actually recommended was Tommy John surgery, which is what the baseball pitchers have. And uh, we just couldn't afford an 18 to you know whatever 22 month, 24 month off recovery yeah. it was. You know, yeah. so we went, we went with this, we went this route, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. So um, you know, since you guys were in the ring with Berman Severn, we've seen. What happened, Burma Severn and Deontay Wilder? Did that surprise you? What, what, what's your thoughts um, on that fight? It didn't surprise me that he struggled. I thought he would struggle because Bermain is more of a counterpuncher. He's not really a guy who comes looking for you, and I thought that would give him problems if with Wilder's height. But I still thought he would find a way to win. I still thought he would, you know, he, he's a big puncher. He's got good, good boxing skills. I, I still thought Severn would find a way to win. So... Am I surprised Wilder won? No. I'm surprised he won so convincingly, though. You know, he won pretty convincingly, 10 to 2, 11 to 1, whatever it was. Yeah, I, I thought it was 9 to 3, 8 to 4, but still, it was a convincing win. You yeah, know, a very convincing yeah. win. Does, does he have a chance against um, Vladimir Klitschko after that performance? Uh, I mean, I would say so. You know what I mean? I mean, he's a big, tall guy. You know, uh, size definitely won't be uh, one of the advantages that Klitschko enjoys like he normally does. Um, he got a big right hand, Wilder does. Um, I would say he has a chance, but does he beat him? Probably not. You know, Klitschko right now is really in a in a class of his own, you know, to be honest. You know, to to, to be honest. Uh, you know, Jennings is gonna get his shot, you know, and I don't I don't think he's gonna get really give much of a you know, not 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 to disparage him. I just don't think he's really got much of a shot. You know, I mean just Klitschko is the head and shoulders that much better than every other heavyweight in the world. Yeah. Now, how long do you think it'll take before we see Chris Ariola back into heavyweight championship contention um, or contender? I, I think right now the plan is to keep him active, provided everything goes well Friday. We're pl planning to probably put him back in maybe five, six weeks later, and we put him right back in. We, he, we've got to knock out some rust, and, and what I mean by that is, um, other than the Stavern fight, He's fought once since September of 2013, which was the Seth Mitchell fight. 
um, and that would only went around. So he's got to, we've got some ring rust we've got to knock out because, you know, when, when Vitaly decided to vacate or not vacate, you know, it was September to March to, to when we fought. I believe it was eight months. And now he's been off another seven, eight months. In 16 months, he's fought one one meaningful fight, you know, yeah. not counting the seven Mitchell fight. So our plan is to knock off some rust, you know, get his weight down a little bit, uh, you know, because obviously he couldn't work out too much, you know, prior to getting the green light. So um, our plan is, like I said, to come through Friday, hopefully no injuries, you know, put him back in in April, possibly put him back in in June, and then see where we go from there. Is it difficult keeping Ariola in shape? It's He's a hard guy to deal with, uh, you know. He's a very, very complicated, complicated guy. You know, I, I've, I've, you know, I, you know, back in the day, you know, I used to, people, say, oh, he needs this, he needs, you know, it used to bother me back in the day, but until you've ever dealt with someone like Chris, you couldn't even fathom how complicated it is. And let me tell you, it is complicated.